Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, I've got a quick one for you guys today. In 7.3 Linux, we're running into an issue where uh, under Conky, over here where it says wireless IP, you'll see that I have no address. Let's see if we can get that resolved. Let's go ahead and open up a file browser first. And the next thing you want to do is right click and say show hidden files. Uh, the Conky configuration file is a hidden file. And what we're looking for is this .conky RC file. If we right click on that, we can say open with and text editor. Now we need to start scrolling down this file until we find this section that generates this network and wireless IP address. And that should be somewhere around line 74. You'll see right here, wireless IP, a line right, and then address e equals WLAN. Uh, that's one thing I miss about working with the Raspberry Pi. When I wrote some code for that, then it worked across uh, basically all Raspberry Pis because this was named the same thing on every one of them. Unfortunately, as we move over to x86 machines, that is not the case. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal window and we're going to run ifconfig. Right here, you'll see WLO1. That is what my system is calling the wireless interface. So that's the information that I need to plug into Conky. So let's go back to that Conky file with that new information. And right here where you see WLAN, I'm going to change that to be WL01. Now, let's zoom back out here on the screen. I'm going to press Control S to save that Conky RC file, and we should see it grab the address over there in Conky. As soon as I press save, it's going to reload, and now we have the address. Now, if you wanted to do the same thing and go ahead and capture your wired address, if you do have a ethernet uh, cable plugged up. I don't in this case, but let me kind of show you how that works. I'm just going to copy that entire line and I'm going to paste it in right below it. Now, I don't want it to read wireless IP, so we're going to name this wired IP address. Let's go back to the terminal. And in this particular case, I don't have a cat cable plugged up, but we'll go ahead and just use my loopback address. And that is LO. So back in the Conky file, we'll change this WL01 to just read LO. Go ahead and press save. And now you can see my loopback address over there under wired IP in Conky. Of course, that's not very helpful. So if you want your wired IP address, you will use the name for your ethernet card. All right, guys, I hope this helps you solve this issue. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.